the time has come. Finally, after a full year, we are finally, finally getting this symbol by 1964 Fairlands. So everybody, welcome to another episode of Podcast Garage. And today's episode, we are actually going to disassemble the fair lane or the process of it and start rebuilding the entire car. So it's going to be a pretty good episode. Dad is cleaning some stuff out of the shop that is in the way, like the table saw we have. And we already cleaned it because we do my mom's oil change. That's why I'm already a little dirty. But finally, finally at last, this thing is coming apart. Most people probably don't want to see this thing apart, but I do. I got a lot of parts in my room for it. And my mom and girlfriend have been making fun of me for it. So let's actually put those uh, parts to good use. So today's goal, I say today, it's July 3rd. July 3rd, 4th, and maybe the end, of, end of the following weekend, I'm not too sure. But this episode's goal is to get the axle out, leaf springs out, exhaust out, drive line out, rear bumper off, and fuel tank out of there. And prepping for undercoating. So I'm gonna do a whole nother video, probably a two part video of rebuilding the eight inch, getting it narrowed, rebuilding the third member, all that jazz. So I know a lot of people probably want to see that or some people probably don't want to see that. Either way, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. If you don't, that sucks, you're lame. Got the Fairlane on the lift. Got the jack stands under the pinch weld. That way, when we're ready to drop the axle, we don't gotta worry about wheels and tires or anything. We can just go ahead and drop it. First order of business, get this bumper off. And I'm not keeping that bumper. I'm doing fiberglass front and rear. So, I ain't gotta really worry about it too much. Gotta keep the hardware. Bumper is off right there. Tomorrow is when the axle. Uh, Casper? Tomorrow is when the axle, fuel tank, and hopefully the leaf springs come out. Well, I mean, leaf springs are going to come out with the axle, but hopefully the fuel tank and that can come out tomorrow. Then we can start cleaning up the bottom end. You know, all those spiders out because I've seen like two crawl already. And I'm not a fan of spiders. Gonna take off the brakes and all that tomorrow as well because it would be a pain to do that with the axle outside of the car or outside from under the car because there's nothing to kind of hold on to as you're beating the crap out of the drum. Making some pretty good progress so far. I'm I'm happy. So hopefully the morning we can make some more progress. All right, so next morning we're siphoning this fuel out. That way we don't have to do anything sketchy like we do the blue, like use a punch and chisel, put a hole in it. Not we, you. Yeah, at least I didn't use a drill. But that fuel's a little diluted, but enough to catch fire. So we tested that out. But this fuel I know is clean and pretty new because I put some in it after we first got the car. So gonna siphon all this out, then drop the tank, which I believe. Ooh, you hold that in there. Nice. There's only two bolts right there. I got the fuel lines and electric connector disconnected from the front of the fuel tank. And it's siphoned all of it out, or most of the fuel out. So now two bolts right there, which gonna Zap, zap, and drop the tank. All right, so we're gonna let the bolt soak for the leaf springs and the axle. I figured we'd probably just unbolt the leaf springs. Then just kind of drop it all as one. Then, but before we do that, we gotta take the brakes off because I do not want to jack with brakes 
without it being attached to the car. Because those drums look like they are going to be a pain. Oh yeah. So if you saw the video of us taking the brakes off of blue, we found an easier way to do it instead of beating the crap out of it with a pry bar, a hammer, heat, everything else. Just adjust them. Bring the shoes in. Then take the drum off. Whole lot easier. Okay, so we're having an issue getting this axle shaft out. It's already, all the bolts are already off. I believe, unless there's a fifth. No, I think, yeah, all the bolts are already off. Um, I think it's kind of stuck in the third member just a little bit, like inside to bring a pinion, but we're trying to get that drum off, so that's going to have to tear up a brake line. And I think our light just died. Yep. Nice. So... Once we get that drum for off and both these axle shafts out, we can disconnect the shocks right there. Then it's one bolt right there for the leaf springs and two bolts up there from the hanger. Then just drop it all. Um, the shocks, the top nut is in the trunk, which I lost the keys of the trunk. So that's a whole nother headache I got to deal with. What happened to the keys? I lost the keys. And then what happened to them? You ran over them with the lawnmower. Because? I lost them. Yeah, I know. So I'm either gonna have to get a locksmith to come out, or I just drill the lock. To me, just drill the lock. But. Or we could take the back seat out and you could climb through. You want to climb through all those spider webs? Nope, not my car. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right, so we're not going to really worry about this drum because we're just going to plasma cut it once you get the axle off. Do man down. Got bit pretty gnarly by a spider. I didn't really feel it. It was just kind of a burning sensation, but going to be a little careful now. Put him to work. Nice fingernail on a chalkboard. Ooh. Ooh. That, that does not make it feel good. Broke one of the studs for the shackle, the rear shackle, the leaf spring. As I was saying, broke the stud on the rear shackle, but new shackles aren't really that hard to get. I am reusing the old leaf springs, just gonna clean them up, do new bushings and stuff. Um, exhaust is out, shocks are loose. Just gotta get that off. Then the two, looks like it's gonna be easier to unbolt it from the front kind of leaf, leaf spring bracket, I guess. Cause there's a long bolt that goes through it and it's gonna be pretty hard to get so there's just a couple bolts that hold that bracket we'll just drop the bracket then just drop it all at one get the tractor pick it up and pull it out drive line is out shocks are disconnected only thing holding the leaf springs and axle is emergency cables but it's not really holding it and just there's like one or two bolts of that leaf spring bracket in the inside that's holding it. But other than that, we're gonna get the tractor and just kind of hold it under there. Then we can disconnect those bolts, lay it on the tractor forks and back it out. Got the rear end out and leaf springs. Wasn't too bad, just four bolts there. Gotta disconnect everything that's connected to the axle. Then one bolt right there basically on the shackle. Not too bad, not too bad. Seeing the axle out and seeing the car with no rear end is really, my vision starting to come clear and I'm super happy about that. It makes me super just feel filled with excitement that this car is finally getting worked on. You know, it took a year and I'm, I'm glad we're finally starting to do it. Gotta scuff up all this, clean it with the brill disc slash grinder, not grinder, but like, uh, what are those pads called? I guess you could say grinder, but they have like, um, those right there. Cannot think of the name to save my life. But anywho, I'm just glad that everything worked out 
somewhat smoothly. Got a spider bite, but I guess that just means I'm one with the car. But maybe I'll be Speederman. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Got a lot of stuff done in this video. Next video is going to be disassembling the 8-inch or the first part of that. Because it'll probably be two parts. I may fit it all in one. I don't know. I'll see. But the next video will be disassembling the 8-inch. So that's going to be super exciting. There's not a lot of people really mess with 8 inches anymore. So I'm pretty excited for it. Got all the parts in my room for the LSD or, yeah. No, sorry. The Posi track, the ring and pinion, full bearing rebuild kit from Quick Performance. So super pumped about that. Then once that's all built, we'll start, you know, using Sweet Patina's rust prevention black paint all on the undercoating of the car. So that'll, that'll look real good and help with dirt and all that. If you liked today's video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about the Fairlane. Think it's gonna turn out pretty cool? I sure do. So hope you see you in the next video. Peace out.